the mandala actually is uh, uh, literally translated as uh, the ancient architecture of enlightenment. The purpose of the making mandala sand paintings, this here is a special mandala we call the mandala of the green Tara. So, who, so green Tara is uh, one of the, uh, the enlightened deities, the very center enlightened qualities of prosperities and uh, longevity and the good health. So what was the attraction for bringing the monks to the College of DuPage? I think it really, um, that answer can best be described as from their previous performance. They were here approximately three years ago and I think it was so well received by the community and the impact that it had on everyone who participated in it. It was of value and importance for us to bring it back to have those that enjoyed it the first time enjoy it again as well as introduce it to new community members. I was here Tuesday and we were standing up on the on the balcony up there and uh, they had the string with the chalk on it and they were making their design and I was like, well that's cool, I don't know what are they doing with that. I thought it was just, that was as far as it was going and then today I came back and they had you know, half of it done and I was like, wow, that really came a long way, real quick too. What are you doing over here? Can you show us? Well, I haven't done all of this, but I've done some of it. <laughs> and what do you enjoy most about doing this? Well, just seeing how cool it looks when it's done. I've heard that you are performing this weekend and that you've done some lectures early on this week. Can you tell us a little bit about this and what, you're, what we should be expecting later on this week? Uh -huh. Actually, the last night we had a, you know, the, the special you know, the puja or the rituals for the Vaishavana rituals for the wealth, you know, the prosperity of the people of the United States and all over the countries. Just this morning we had the lectures on the, the ancient art of healing from Buddhist perspective, which is very important, you know, that in the healing, that, you know, the, that not only the physical pain and suffering, but also the mental level. And then tomorrow we have a concert, you know, the sacred music, sacred dance of world healing. And the, and the doing, uh, you know, the nine different pieces, and uh, some of them are the chanting, the very traditional, the multiphonic chanting. And then some of these are wonderful with the uh, very rich, you know, the uh, traditional costumes, dress, the beautiful that the brocades and the masses dances. Normally, the movement of the dancers symbolizes very big how joy and happiness. You know, they can, they could see the nakedly, you know, the real nature of all things and events. Um, when you have finished creating this mandala, what do you end up doing with it? Yeah, so traditionally speaking, so mandala is built with the opening ceremony first, so where the monks are chanting and the prayers and uh, invoking all the deities, uh, especially the uh, the principal deity of the Green Tara here. And so when we finish, then, you know, the, the completed mandala has to be uh, dismantled as a symbolic of, you know, the impermanence nature of all existence of the mandalas and also our life. Some of the blessings we, you know, the uh, given to the, the audience as a, you know, the gift or the blessing as a gift to the audience. And then the rest of the blessing we carry it into the water, you know, the flowing body of water so that it can reach to the oceans. And in the oceans there are countless number of living beings there so, so that they can have, you know, the healing properties, the healing energies of full blessing. Your community college is a hub for cultural enrichment. Learn about events and programs at COD by visiting www.cod.edu.